Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I have another design team project for The Handmade Club by Shabby Art Boutique. And if you are interested in joining The Handmade Club, it's a monthly club and it is a subscription and it requires at least two months to join. This month was the beautiful like Parisian style in pinks and blues, which was so awesome. She offered both color uh, colorways and I made another folio in the pinks this time and I think it turned out really cute. I added this really cute tassel charm that um, Janae's daughter from Happy Mail Obsessed made and it matched so pretty. I love it. I added just a little charm down here that I thought matched really well. And then I used a pretty uh, label at the top, added some laces and collaged some of the die cut pieces. And then I added some of these. They are the sparklets. And this is the Coral Coast color. I'm not sure why it says coral, but it's definitely pink. And so I sprinkled them throughout. I have one on the flower here and sprinkled throughout here on the laces and stuff. And then I put a little charm dangle here on this pretty pink sari silk. And I used the uh, Tim Holtz assemblage charms and created this little dangle. So let's go ahead and open this, whoops. Okay, and this folio opens the same way as the blue one did. If you didn't see the blue one, I'll leave the link below to that, as well as how I die cut with my Cricut, all of the elements in the kit. And of course I had to add the shaker and I added it on the left side this time. So much fun. I just love the shaker element. And then uh, right here I have a little pocket with some of the die cuts. And inside the pocket are some more of the pretty elements in the kit. And then I just made a little journal here and I added some lace tabs. I sewed them together and then I added a little safety pin with some pretty beads from I want to see those were Michaels I think. I have some pretty avocado dyed papers and tea dyed papers as well as coffee dye. So lots of texture. That's another lace tab. The safety pin there. And then this comes out. So I have the elastic in there and I love that option because you can change your pages around, or you can put entirely new pages in there, or you can add more. And then I just put a label here on the back. I covered the background of this file folder, and I in the blues video, I have the tutorial for how I put this together. Just a quick how-to. And I used some gold thread to sew all the edges, metallic gold. And then um, in the pockets, this is a Tim Holtz pocket. And I just put all of the pretty die cuts in here. And the flowers, so fun. I think the little corsets are so pretty. That made it so fun. And then I put one of the labels back here. Here's some flowers. And a journaling card. 
And then I just collage some of the die cuts here. And over here, I have two pockets full of beautiful die cuts. Aren't they so pretty? And then this cute little pocket. I love the floral edge. And then I just collage down here. And then up here, I have some more die cuts. Aren't they gorgeous? I, and I added some of the um, crocheted thread on there. Journaling cards and the scissors and this beautiful bouquet. And I loved this background page. I hated to cover part of it up, but it was like a window um, dressing there. So gorgeous. So, I just love the little things peeking out of the pocket. So fun. Okay, and then over here I just have another journaling card and one of the spools that I wrapped with the thread and then a paper clip to hold those on. You can use all these in the journal pages. It's a little charm dangle there. Aren't the background pages gorgeous? I just love them. And it closes nicely, and I love this wallpaper background page. That's what I use for the cover because I just thought it was so pretty. And I have lace and some trim right here, and the dangle can come off if that bothers you, or you can leave it right there like that. Okay, guys, this will be available in my Zibit store. If you're interested, please see the link below. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.